But first at five, after four deadly domestic violence tragedies in eight days in green country, advocates remind people that help is available. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Lori Fulbright. It is a disturbing trend, and many say it needs to stop. News on Six's Kristen Weaver has more on the help that's available to stop this type of family violence. With all the domestic violence situations across green country lately, places like SafeNet Services here in Claremore are here to help and are one of many resources across our state. It's been a horrific week of violence in green country. Last Tuesday, authorities say a woman in Fort Gibson was killed by her husband. Then on Thursday, OSBI says a woman with a history of problems killed three of her children, then herself in Verdigris. On Monday, Tulsa police say a man killed his ex-girlfriend and two other women and then shot a baby. And on Tuesday, Claremore police say a man killed his ex-wife and himself and police found their bodies in a lake. Oklahoma is ranked number two in domestic violence homicides and so the need for services is just very drastic. Jody Moore is the executive director at SafeNet Services in Claremore. The center is a shelter for domestic and sexual violence victims. Moore is disturbed by an increase in calls that her center and centers all over the state are getting. We have over 35 certified um, domestic violence agencies across the state and all of us have expressed the need for increased in services. Moore says abusers often start small with violence before escalating and SafeNet gives victims a way out which can prevent deaths from happening. We automatically provide um, safety planning with them and with having safety planning that reduces the risk of homicides drastically. She urges anyone experiencing violence or who knows someone struggling to reach out to the many shelters all over our state. Crisis hotlines are available 24 seven. You can find resources on our website. In Claremore, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.